uh, until now there are 18 cambridge books from which you can practice you can also easily assess this book in uh, google i have downloaded um, four books 15 16 17 and 18 from which i will show different type of questions that is present in uh, those cambridge books and uh, tell you how to deal with those type of question okay first let's look at cambridge als academic 18 there is a uh, first test one reading as i mentioned before there are three passages here and um, as I also mentioned before, we shall first read the question. So the first type of question here from question one to three is fill in the blank type of question. Uh, so uh, while doing this question, we shall first read the question, right? Vertical tubes are used to grow strawberries slash and herbs. So find out the key words present in this sentence which is vertical tubes grow and there is three options basically strawberries something is missing and herbs so let's check in the passes scan the passes we should we always start from first go through every sentence because we should we should know what is in which sentence right Though we are not looking for answers until there is strawberries, herbs and uh, tubes found, we shall still read the sentence. So in the second sentence we found strawberries so yes yeah, so, and there is a plastic tubes. Again there is tubes, again strawberry and vertical tubes and lettuce, herbs. So see there is strawberries, lettuce and herbs means the missing answer is lettuce. So sometimes it's very easy to find answer like this question number one. But don't expect answer to be so easily found. You must read two to three times sometimes to find the right answer. So let's move below. Question four to seven is complete the table type of question. Here there is a comparison between intensive farming and aerophonic urban farming so first read the topic then uh, read the uh, about in which category you will be answering the question which is first four number four question four number is about intensive farming right in um, on inter in intensive farming it's about growth growth and wide range of dash used means try to uh, brainstorm what can be the answer try what range of instrument used fertilizer used uh, seeds used right so okay expect that type of answer then try to search in the passes uh, since i have mentioned before uh, every answer will be in a sequential order uh, then the path the sentence from which question number three ends you should be starting from there uh so okay please let's move on to below 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 okay then scan for the question question okay something paraphrased in the same way Okay, here is a, in third paragraph, here is the answer. For, first of all, I don't like the fact that most of the fruits and vegetables we eat have been treated with something like 17 different pesticides. So, pesticide is the answer because pesticide is used in intensive farming te techniques to grow the <laughs> vegetables. So, sometimes the answer doesn't match with the question you should be sure that the answer gra grammatically 
and meaningfully matches with the question then only that will be a accurate answer and if you are not sure about the answer then it's nothing wrong to again scan the passage and look for the correct answer okay now let's move below question number 18 to 13 is true and false type a uh, true false not given type of question so true means the answer is uh, the information is present in the passage false means the information that is present in the passage is exactly opposite than the question not not given means though the question may be right or wrong the information is not present in the passage so here the most of the students make mistake as they uh, know the knowledge about the topic if you are from the agriculture sector you know you have a lot of knowledge about farming then if a question is given you know it's true and but still if the answer is not given in the passage then the answer for this question will be not given because it's not given in the passage right so the answer is not given so i think i made myself clear here now let's move on to reading passage 2 okay here is a different type of question uh, uh read the instruction it says that here is a question from 14 to 18 and there is paragraph from e to z so you should write in which paragraph these statements are found so for this for answering this question you should read from paragraph number a to paragraph number g to answer it properly uh, so if uh, uh, so for answering this type of question uh, read all question from 14 to 18 then go to paragraph number a try to find the meaning of paragraph number a then come back to paragraph number uh, to the question and see which statement match with paragraph number a since we have more number of paragraphs than the number of question paragraph number a not may not be the match for any of this question if some some question is a match then write a but don't be 100 percent sure that that is the answer for that statement because in below paragraph that that uh, statement may be explained in detail or it is more precise to that paragraph may be more precise to this statement so don't be 100 percent sure but still put that put the number there because yeah it may be the answer for that question so this is how we uh, uh, do this match the paragraph type of question now let's move below so here is matching the multiple choice or something like uh, something like uh, like that question in which three different type of cut is given for answering this type of question go read this cut right read this cut and read this uh, question from 19 to 21 then go scan in the passage for cut where is tsi cut it's in uh, paragraph number d so read the whole paragraph know about this card then come here and match the uh match answer the question this is how this type of question is done uh, okay now let's look out for different type of question uh, finally uh here is multiple choice type of question so a question is asked uh, three four choices are given and uh, it's about telling about what is the point writer try to make in paragraph number first read the read the question first then paragraph try to extract the meaning of what writer try trying to tell in paragraph number one and very carefully look at the option 
and and select the option which nearly and exactly uh, mint in the paragraph number A. Then answer the question. It takes multiple practice to answer correctly, so do not be disheartened if you wrong at the if you get it wrong at the first attempt because it happens for me at as well. But repeated practice, practicing every day will make you perfect. So here is a different type of fill in the blank question. Here we are not choosing the words from the passage, but rather from this eight option given below in the box. So for the answering the question, this question, uh, yeah, don't read the whole passage. Read the first sentence. Look in the passage where this sentence is. Come back and find the word which uh, is which is which can be put in this fill in the blanks and choose the word from this box which gives the similar meaning. We are not putting the words from the passage, for, but rather from this box. And this kind of question is most easy to answer because. Even before reading the passage, we already know the answer for this kind of question because we know AI, uh, we know about AI and yeah, this kind of thing. So, but still, we should we need to find the answer in the passage and select the right answer. Uh, there are also flowchart type of question in which um, there will be a box and arrows. Uh, indicating the steps in which the whole process will run so sometimes the topic itself for the question and you should uh, be reading the whole flowchart look for the uh, key words and search th those in the passage then answer the question they are also relatively easy but the most uh, difficult type of question are pictorial question in which you should uh, answer the parts parts are in the form of question and you should answer the parts and it's very difficult to read between those lines to draw a picture but if you read the passage carefully then you will definitely find the answer uh, you should like read every word and try to extract the meaning so try to uh, practice pictorial question as well and it will get familiar with time and this is all i have to say how to get a good band in your reading test uh, if you want me to say more about listening speaking writing then please comment in the comment section and if you find this helpful please like and subscribe to the channel love you all bye